Have you ever had a painful, saddening, or disappointing experience you couldn't shake or shrug off? Most of us have. It's like a blanket of fog over your life that blocks out the light of joy. How long are you willing to wait for that fog to evaporate? Hi, I'm George Pratt. And I'm Peter Lambro. As clinical psychologists, Peter and I have seen thousands of people over our careers, many that are financially successful, have loving families, meaningful work, and they're otherwise healthy, but they aren't truly happy. But for so many people, there's like a fog of distress that won't go away, and talking about it doesn't help. The key to feeling joy and happiness can seem out of reach. Are you often feeling worried or anxious that something isn't quite right in your life, but you can't put your finger on what it is? Do you get angry or frustrated beyond what a situation calls for? Do you feel sad, down in the dumps, or guilty for no apparent reason? Getting to the root of the problem and solving it is what Code to Joy is all about. Did you know that your mind-body is actually a biofield, an electrical field of energy, some of which is measured in brain waves and heart rhythms? But even more significantly, your biofield has polarity positive and negative charges, just like all electrical systems. But when your biofield is disrupted, scrambled in a manner of speaking, then your mental, emotional, and even physical systems will be less efficient, even reverse, taking you in the opposite direction you want to go. Code to Joy shows you how to check for those disruptions, reversals, and how to correct them. Most of us realize the impact a serious physical or emotional trauma can have on a person. A child who witnesses a parent die in an accident or a youngster who's hospitalized with a life-threatening illness and lives, but with a fear that gets triggered by small events. What most people don't realize is the effect these micro-traumas have when repeated or reinforced over time. Micro-traumas can occur not just in childhood, but at any point in life. And the result is an encoding of a life-limiting belief about oneself. Like an iceberg below the surface, limiting life beliefs go unrecognized until we run into a situation that triggers a feeling such as, I'm not lovable or I'm not safe. In Code to Joy, we help you to identify what's limiting your happiness with a personal belief assessment. Identifying is part of step one of our four-step process. In step two, we clear away the disturbances to your body's energy system and prepare it for step three, the repatterning process. This is where you release limiting beliefs and install the positive, life-affirming, and empowering beliefs about yourself that allow the free flow of joy and happiness into your daily life. And in step four, you learn a simple process to anchor the new perceptions of yourself into a deep and long-lasting effect. Take 32-year-old Karen as an example. She couldn't find the love she really wanted. She felt time was slipping away. Karen's life-limiting belief was tied to growing up seeing her mother unhappy in her marriage. Karen's belief became, I must find the perfect man, which blocked many wonderful opportunities. After the four-step process, she was able to believe in her ability to make a relationship work with some minor imperfections. Soon she found her code to joy in the loving relationship she deserved. We've brought together the best elements of cognitive science, the breakthrough findings of neuroscience, and the cutting edge methods of energy psychology to give you the promise of our subtitle, The Four-Step Solution to Unlocking Your Natural State of Happiness. Can you get beyond the limits of old patterns of responding? Can you transform your beliefs about who you are and where you're going? Can you create your own code to joy and happiness? Absolutely you can. We've given you the solution, and now it's your turn. Order a copy of Code to Joy and begin transforming your life today.